The PTP31. Is it a switch? Is it a, pr a pressure switch? Is it a pressure current indicator? Or is it a display? Well, it happens to be three. Three instruments in one. It has a brown wire you can see, to apply power. It has a blue wire return. It has a white wire for the current output. And it has a black wire for the switch. And then this white thing is not a wire. It's actually a plastic tube and it's the return or the uh, reference for a gauge pressure device. This happens to be the 60 PSI one and uh, don't know if you can see if it says gauge Yeah, 14 to 20 milliamps, current consumption 60 milliamps. I'm trying to find the part where it says that this is a 60 psi part. There it is. It's a uh, 0 to 60 psi. And uh, maximum pressure, which won't damage it, is 160.5. And by the way, this one comes with a very long cable, which can, makes it a little bit inconvenient. But uh, if you had a very big factory, you'd want to run that 15-foot uh, cable to where you, wherever you are. Uh, this has a half-inch NPT fitting, which I've adapted down to fit my quarter NPT fittings. So I have a, an adapter on there. Uh, but... Uh, you have to use NPT pipe thread, you have to use uh, Teflon to connect the NPT pipe adapter. You can change the position of the NPT thread with respect to the display because it can swivel. We're going to do the functional tests with a 150 PSI unit. That was the, you, previously you saw the 60 PSI one, and now we're going to use the 150 PSI unit set up with uh, a meter to follow the switch, a uh, digital multimeter to show you the milliamps, power supply to, to provide 20, about 28 volts input. The long wires 
and a pressure pump with the uh, 150 psi unit attached. Let's see if I can show you that this is indeed the 150 psi unit. Should be able to read that. Similar to the 40 psi unit, we're going to do the tests with this particular unit here. Now let's illustrate the switch transition point. If we turn the pressure up, there will be a certain pressure where the switch turns on. And now if we reduce that pressure, it won't turn off until it reaches the lower switch point. But again, switch comes on at the upper switch point, going from low to high, and then the lower switch point, and the switch will turn off. And let me do this again with the uh, current meter showing up on top. We increase the pressure. And the switch turns on. And you can see the 11.194, 11 11.19 is the uh, current that it reads and then we lower the pressure and the switch point turns off. So you're seeing it's doing switching, current output and 
Well, you've seen the display. I can't get everything in on the camera at once. Here is the wiring that was used for the 150 PSI unit. As you can see, the blue wire has m most of the black wires coming from all the different devices. The meter, the uh, digital meter up, coming from the top here, and the power supply sneaking in back here. The power supply red lead is on the green uh, on the brown wire. The brown wire gets the positive voltage. The black wire goes to the analog meter and the white wire goes to the digital meter. The white wire is the milliamps. Black wire is just the switch and the, the brown wire is the power coming in. Now you'll see this is a yellow green wire this is connected to the ground of the case of the uh, instrument and as I may have pointed out before the clear tube is the low pressure side to uh, reference to ambient pressure for a gauge and I'll say I'll back off a little bit and just show you that the uh, the wires coming from the top there are coming from the digital meter